seems to be. Listen. <laughs> no way, I'm not listening to this nigga. <laughs> this nigga. Hey, yo. I am not listening to this nigga 6 9 that nigga 6 9 boy, yeah, he's, crazy. he's having a field day right now because of Gunner and Thug, oh, man. He's what? having a field You heard oh, him? Yeah? yeah, he's having a field nah, day. Nah, I didn't hear what he's been saying. He's like another another gangster that's out here snitching, man. Another one, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's having a even field. Though, even though their situations are definitely different, but I ain't going to stop right there. Field day, bro. You want to listen to 6 9 <laughs> That's a, a crazy <laughs> Listen, this is a rapper. You got 200 followers. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't. You can rap way better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is rigged. It's rigged. I'm telling you. Yo, hear me out when I tell you. I speak facts. I'm in the industry. I'm trying to tell you how this game is, 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 is marketed. Like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Yo. The label's telling you, yo, listen, you have to sit down with Spotify, sit down with Apple. You have to do this interview. You have to. So if much. you don't want to, you have to. You have to go see this person and sit down and talk to them. You have to go and do this. You have to. Yo, you, you gotta check the boxes. Yeah. I can see that. At the end of the day, you're a brand, bro. Like, this is what you signed up for type shit. I get it, though. Talent sometimes is like for college reference. Somebody could go to college and get the degrees and do all of this shit, but may, but may not get a job. Somebody that may have certificates, which is not degrees or certificates, but no certain people can possibly get the job just based off of that. And that's networking, bro. And, and, and it could be the degrees obviously hold more weight. Let's keep it at being degrees hold more weight over fucking. Uh, uh, certificates, yes, but for the person who went to these schools or, or whatever the case may be, and they didn't network, versus the person who didn't, who did, who was at a already at a lower, um, like already at a disadvantage. I'm not gonna say low, at automatic, automatically at a disadvantage, but put themselves out there who went to who who went to these classes and got certificates and talked to these different people who helped them put them in positions over the college degree person is very likely, bro. Literally, you could say, I don't feel like doing that. I don't even like that person. You have to. You're a puppet. You don't know one thing I just thought about? 6 9 almost, he's, unless 6 9 is still lying to us, all of the, like, sexual things that happen in the rap industry, he's never said anything about it. You know how they say, like, how certain rap um, executives play with your booty hole? He's never said anything about them playing with your booty hey, hole. Hey, yo, what do we, what? Who say shit like that? Who said that? What? <laughs> Man, what are you talking about? What is he talking he about, if, bro? If somebody would have exposed it, it would have been him. And I'm going to keep you honest. A buck with you, I actually would believe him. If he had said that, yo, I had to go to Spotify or Apple and they had to play my booty hole so I can be on playlists, hey, I would believe yo. him. But he said nothing about anybody where, going in his booty hole. Yeah, you feel where me? What's up what? with my man? You never heard, like, in the rap industry for you to get ahead? You might have to give somebody a head? You never heard that? What? <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> this is bugging. Wait, wait. Okay, because okay. hey, I'm going to expose that means playing with your butt. You know I mean? <laughs> no, listen, because. Bye to you, boy. Bye to you, man. No, I mean, I look, because I've been doing this. <laughs> no, because I feel like we got we to gotta put it out there. You know what I mean? Not, I think a lot of. <laughs> you know what I'm No, it's two ways. No, you edit it out. Listen, you oh edit No, listen, because I feel like. That's I'm, not what he meant, by the way. Oh, but no, no. No, no, That's listen. Not what he meant, I'm not saying what he meant. I'm just saying in general because. I feel like a lot of people, I had like two record deals, right? Mm -hmm. And they wanted your butt? Yeah. <laughs> what? This Man, nigga's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. This feels like a Boondocks episode. <laughs> nah, for real though, he's talking some other shit. Hold on, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? One nigga here, that was his experience. <laughs> I had like two record deals, right? Mm -hmm. And so the they wanted your butt? Yeah. Wait, 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 w
But what happens is you, you get, no butt after that last point. You you period that, and then you yeah, move nobody, on to the next sentence. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Nah, yeah. I mean, but That's listen, just, no, but listen. What I'm saying is, you know, they proposition you. They do things indirectly. Like they might send a stylus at you, yeah, right? Yeah, listen, yeah. they might send a stylus hey, at where you. Where it is? And the stylus is being on extra touch, listen, homie. We ain't doing that. <laughs> or they might invite you to a party and there's no bitches there. It's a sausage party. <laughs> What are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> this nigga's bugging. This is definitely a Boondocks episode. This is this is a, a spoof of reality Boondocks. Let's see what these niggas <laughs> got. What? What? <laughs> nah, dead eyes though. What's up with him? Hey, this, <laughs> this guy is crazy. He's fucking nuts. And he's reading the signs he's dead eyes, completely though. wrong. <laughs> There's no way... He's like, we're going to makeup? Oh, I can't. I can't. Whoa. At makeup. <laughs> they get a little too touchy at makeup. Ooh. I don't feel comfortable. Ooh, what? You going to wardrobe? Uh-uh. <laughs> then we take my He's a nigga who turned down a deal, so he's, you never heard of him. Oh. He ain't let nobody play with his butt, oh. man. Oh. Have you been to these parties personally? Have you seen them? You can't, you can't get... That's it. a doggy diamonds question. Shout out yeah. doggy diamonds. Right. Shout you out can't, you can't get... You can't, yeah. you can't, yeah. you can't, you can't make it to the real party because somewhere, if you if you're not a homosexual, they got they got a filtering out process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're sending stylists, they they have you out and about because they trying to drug you. So you be in a studio session late at night, and they'll see if you if if you a meatball, yo bro, here hit this blunt. You ain't see the blunt get rolled, yeah, or yo bro, take this drink right here. And you like, hold on, bro, listen, homie, I ain't, I ain't with that. <laughs> and dudes, some dudes will get drunk. Like I've been in studios with artists, famous artists, and I seen niggas take a bottle that. Wasn't theirs, and they in the studio all boozy. I mean, I'm out. I don't know what happened after, to that person yeah, yeah. after, but that shit did. <laughs> no way. No. Oh God, the more he fucking talks, bro. <laughs> this nigga's incriminating himself, first and foremost. You, you saw a crime occur. You was there. You basically said you was there. Well, yeah, I don't know what happened to them niggas. If they came up missing, you know, I, like, what, bro? No way, no way you're on the brink of acknowledging that you probably saw somebody Some crazy get shit. drugged and instead of saying something, you was like, ah, I'm out. I'm about to get out that bitch. Yo, you should say something, bro. You'd be like, yo, you good, dog? Yeah, you good? I no think I know shit. what's supposed to happen next. I see some crazy shit happening on current. I'm like, are you straight? Are you feel how you, you know what I'm saying? Even if I don't know them, if they doing a little too much. Because at the end of the day, you was there. They just gonna look at you. Do like, you oh, have to wasn't? touch? Oh, you gotta go to that level of manipulation where you're drugging somebody. That's crazy. And you're like, nah, I can really get to this man's butt. At G Unit, <laughs> tries to get you, bro. See, look, you trying to sensationalize it. What I'm, I'm saying not. is, like, I'm trying to figure it what out. I, what what? I just told you, I just told you, when you when you in this business, right, and you got talent, they want you because you got influence. The devil's job is to get as many souls as possible. So if you got the potential to be influential, they want you. Not because you're talent, because they could use you as a tool to push their agenda. Now, in order for them to fully put you in position, they have to make sure that you're willing to get in position. Hey, And that yo. position is taking dick in the ass, bro. Nah, this nigga's bugging. He's bugging, bro. What are we talking about? This is... This is, it was a setup, bro. The setup was crazy. Oh. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> niggas is not like this. Damn it, man. This He's losing me. Here. He had it, then he lost me, bro. Hey, that was an accident. <laughs> but that did not feel like the right moment. Oh! Jeez, I've never seen Ooh, him what? Crazy. <laughs> He's dead ass, though. you agree though. with him? I think, I think there are some people who do that, yeah. What I mean by that is a company called Vivendi, period. Vivendi, y'all can Google that. Vivendi owns Viacom. It's umbrella companies. This motherfuckers, this shit don't change, right? That's one. Two, with the music business, once they see. See, that's the problem when people make bad arguments. Is he could be right, but he just said something he generic. Vivendi owns Viacom. Viacom owns uh, MTV, MTV and Discovery and Channel. Yeah. Discovery Channel runs these programs. Those are technically true, but they don't add any merit to your argument. You just I can't said for, something. I, it's, it's called it's called something. His name is not parent company, but it's like one it's major like Alphabet entity. Alphabet owning Google, or it's like Tencent Games, or ten, you know Tencent, it's probably the biggest country, c c company in the fucking world. It's up there with Apple. It, it's, it's, it's a Chinese company. Right. It owns so much of entertainment. It owns yeah. all the major video video games. It owns uh, 
many very very large apps around the world and like but nobody like, even knows it exists. It's, it's like it's that's yeah fine. yeah that's, right. That's but it's cool. like um like Pepsi and Cola or like um nah Tencent shits. No 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 no. But what I'm saying is there's somebody else that owns oh, yeah there's that owner company Tedra. and then there's there's another there's individuals who own like large sh shares and stocks into a company that also owns this company and Pepsi and Cola isn't just Pepsi and Cola. Pepsi is also like Sprite, Gatorade, all those other all all the the, the line of like it I just know. dominates. It. So what I'm saying is, so then what he's saying is that one individual or a group of people have so much influence over like the you. drink, the drink aspect. I'm telling you, but, but he's parent that, ownership is not complete control. It's not. But what he's saying is the level of influence that the individuals have at the bottom that can control to a much larger scale is what is more important. That's what he's saying. Like the influence of a, of a, of a rap star being able to touch, like hypothetically speaking, 50 Cent, being able to touch not just America, but the other side of the globe as well. Is what he's referring to. Right, so you're giving him so much credit. Yeah, I about to say he kind of is. Maybe he he was saying that, but he kind of needed to articulate that a little bit better. He's making a bad argument. You're making a better argument than he is for his own case. Anyway, I'm not saying he's, he's wrong. I'm just saying he made a bad what's his, argument. What's his... <laughs> This is like he's hilarious though. Yeah, he's, he's hey man, good. look, I didn't, I'd have been on it. You know, what's so funny when unless Sneakle, like it's Sneakle an underwear he... shoot, there's no reason to grip my balls. <laughs> sure. Like if it was. Yeah, we out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna pack this up. This the, that was crazy. I, I guess he said he's basically. I get what he was kind of saying, like as far as they want they 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 know that you're influential, so they want you because you could touch a bunch of, like he said hypothetically a, a bunch of people or a bunch of a bunch of uh, a genre of people or a set amount of people, so that you can use you because if you got influence and you can reach these people that they maybe not be able to reach, is is they can put you in positions to give you money in exchange. Do their bidding, I guess, uh, or do whatever agenda or, or, or kind of subliminally advocate towards their agenda, I guess. It's crazy shit for all the other. The other shit he was saying was mad funny, mad crazy. He was dead ass, though. He was being so dead ass. I could tell. You can, you know what a nigga is not fucking around. He didn't blink. He didn't laugh. He didn't smirk. That nigga, whatever he said, he believed that shit to the, to the core. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. This shit really happens. Let me know in the comments, man. Share this shit with your auntie, your grandma, your your, your, your grandma, your, your your sister. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite female cousins. I'm their favorite side nigga. So, word.